and welcome to School Report. I'm Diane, reporting from Noted School. Firstly, what we are doing at our school. At our school, we've made an Olympic mural, which is up in the school hall. Also to promote the Olympics, each pupil in year 7, 8 and 9 have a value book book where you can collect stickers from teachers. Here's mine. In the house cup that we have each term, the house that wins receives the Olympic torch made from the DT department in their house colour. Lastly, around the local area, places the Olympic torch is going near us, Lindhurst, Southampton, and it's actually going through Dibden. When it's, it's stopped in Southampton, it's going to be in the common, and that evening, it is there. A huge game with lots of towns around the city will be celebrated on day 57. Now we will be interviewing Robin Smith, an ex Minister pupil who will be one of the 8,000 torchbearers. I was not going to carry played by my mum, through the work that I've done going all the people going to the in school, and my mum was in Placida. And then there were different rounds in the selection process, and I found out a few months ago. How did you become an ambassador? I became an ambassador in year 10, and I worked with them as a sports leader, and before that I played football and hockey for the school. And then it was quite you know, a natural transition, and they went to the conference and had the training to become an ambassador. And then from there, you know, started doing work within your schools. And then when I left later, I went into working in the community to go more young people involved in sports. Where you carrying your job from to? We're not really too sure into specific details yet because of security reasons. I know that it's everywhere from a form of support that we need to so I don't really know about that, but we'll find out more information. What's your feelings about being involved? I'm really excited, you know, I remember all the way back in 2005 when we won the to host the games, everyone was really excited. I know it's just absolutely fantastic that the games are coming to the UK, it really is a once in a life opportunity and they're going to be here again. And you know, it's fantastic opportunities for the athletes involved, you know, for the people that live in London, people all over the UK, you know, it's just a fantastic opportunity for the games to be here. You know, it's going to be fantastic. We're going to talk to you. We've actually managed to get tickets um, for the hockey for our hockey club, so yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> what do you plan for your future? I've been born in Bursa through my college and I'm off to Canada to study um, for my degree in sports science and sports management. You know, I've never been to Canada before, so <laughs> it should be a really good challenge, but you know, hopefully it should be fantastic. You know, the sports over there is amazing, you know, you've got the the winter in the picture of the winter sport. So hopefully a completely different side of the sports management side of things. That was Amy Carr reporting on behalf of BBC School Report. And we'll be back after the break.